Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, we just finished um, rescuing the other half of Thaniel. Let's go talk. I don't know. Why? Can I get rid of this dude? Like, I don't need him right now. Please go away. Um, right. So let's go talk to this guy. Whew, man. Halsen. I have a lot on my mind. Uh, the druid Halsen spoke to me while I was sleeping. Yes. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor okay. still holding the shadows in place. Yes. The soul that brought it into being. For the land to heal. Ketherick Thorne must die. That is on the agenda, kid. Halsen. Oakfather preserve you. I met a peer of yours, Druid Jahara. Do you know her? Only by a reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorne, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. Okay. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. <laughs> Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. Are you an, you're an arch druid. What could possibly have left, what could you possibly have left to learn from anyone? You seem to admire her greatly. There is much to admire, judging by the stories. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as arch druid. Defended the grove, Koga, the shadow druids. At least now we can benefit from her presence, and perhaps work to a common goal. So now that I've rescued Thaniel and made him a whole person again, he's a little bit more talkative. You spent all of these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course. Is. Of course. I only wish you'd join me earlier. Um, you'll make a decent workhorse? This camp doesn't haul itself around. Oh my god. I'll see how useful you prove to be. On that note, I need you to stay at, my, at camp for now. No. Of course. I would only wish you'd join me earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. How am I holding up? I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but you're quite large for an elf. I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Any idea how that came about? Who's to say? We'll perhaps to there's it. a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. How did you become... How did you come to be a druid? <laughs> I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. Daniel? But eventually, I realized no one else had heard of him. I don't know. It was Daniel, of course. Of course. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. 
Do you have people out there somewhere? Family, friends, a lover, perhaps? <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. I'm sorry for your loss. You're better off with me anyways. I didn't answer the part about... You didn't... Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. You didn't answer the part about lovers. I'm 350 years old. Of course there have been lovers. Just because I love nature doesn't mean I'm betrothed to it. Though sometimes... Nature needs reminding. Don't leave me hanging. Is there someone in your life right now? Right now? I'm being super nosy. I bed down alone, I'm afraid. <laughs> Perhaps once I talk less of curses and parasites, my fortunes will improve. Hold on. Nature needs reminding of what exactly? Well, um, <laughs> I didn't pick this scar up in battle. <sighs> I was in wild shape, only I forgot it was the season when bears are particularly social. <laughs> this is A she-bear claimed scars. me as her own and did not appreciate being spurned. Oh. Turn to other matters. Tell me something about yourself that I wouldn't even think to ask. Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. <laughs> I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. <laughs> that is pretty amusing. Whittle, what do you make? So you turn into a bear and you like honey. A little on the note. You're fortunate to know what you like. I wouldn't pay any attention to what others think. You're right. Sometimes I think people look at me and imagine my feelings can't be hurt. Are you just so joyful? Whittling, what do you make? Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. <laughs> That's so cute. I like ducks. Thank you for sharing. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. I live in mortal fear of krakens, though I never really actually seen one. Maybe. Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. That's it. Anytime. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. what is this? A shadow curse? Okay. Let's, um, let's switch him out. I'm, we're gonna rest. But I wanna switch him out for Lazel. Since we're going, I plan on going to Moonrise. And I will probably need all my let's heavy hitters, basically. Coffers. Alright. So let's see. Where is Lazel? Oh, she's right there. All right, scratch. Oh God, scratch, scratch. Come back. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. He's so cute. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. I always need to give you pets. I love Scratch's voice actor. I love it. He's so cute. Alright. Leave. An iron bowl. Thanks. Are you trying to tell me you're hungry or something? Ooh, I need to go sell all this stuff. Hmm. Okay. Halson's proved himself a fine ally already. He'll be useful in battle, if those tree trunk arms are an indication. 
Oh, Lazelle. Um, ba -ba. join me. You're full up. Dismiss someone first. A house in. Ready for battle. God, don't just like growl at me. Let me run to the last light. Sell some stuff, get some potions, and then we will make our way. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have a. Hmm. Let me see if I can find a point, and then we will. Like a like a travel point, and then we will probably go back to last light and. Uh, get some supplies. What? Where am I? Am I going in the right direction? I think so. I need to go this way. I got turned around. Er, uh, okay. Let's see. Um. Something over there. Something over where? I hate when they do that and then they don't tell me what they're looking at. This? The plaque? It. Was that a click I heard? There's something about these plaques. What about the plaques? That's curious. Our Mr. Wentworth? Dora? Oh my goodness. Hmm. What's that? Lost pain all What? Is there a certain order that I need to press these plaques in? Mr. Wynn something Thorm. Um, something, something, something. I don't know. I wonder what that did. I don't even really know what I did. What did. Oh! Oh! There's an entrance. Do I go in there? What's in here? Strange. Can't feel the shadow curse down here. Sharn Sanctuary? What is this place? What is this? I don't know. What is this place? What is this? Do you accept Shah's test of your intellect? Nod in acceptance. An untested mind is a dull mind. Oh lord. Save. I don't- before I press anything. Wow, why is this so loud? You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine. Oh. And a strange sensation of acceptance. What is this dark ladies? Um, has earned Charles approval through the impressive display of wit. Has a plus five bonus to intelligence until finishing a long rest. Oh, that's nice. Iron torch. There's a door right there. What is this? 
Do you think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing? Another one? Okay. Yes? A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. Bonus long. Oh. So one's an intelligence bonus and one is a wisdom bonus. Nice. Oh, I don't know if I should. Another plaque. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Okay. What was that noise? Charisma chat? Smirk, of course. Need to even say it? Confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The wow. statue seems to agree and approve. Well, oh, hello. What is this? A ritual dagger of Shar? Hold on. Hold on. An altar to Shah. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. Your blood. Take it the dagger, recite Shah's dogma, and cut your arm. The dagger won't be missed. Take it. Shadowheart of Roots. I, I I do have another game, but I didn't do this in the other one. I didn't even know this existed. I love this game because no matter how many times you play, there's always something new to do. Potion of Angelic Reprieve. Dang, she gave me stuff. Elixir of Necrotic Resistance. And what else does she give me? Scroll of Blight and Scroll of Revivy? Um, Shadowheart. My you, face protects me. You grab these. Please. Better take that. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting what? times. What? This was a cool little what section. Are watching me. Nice. Worth it. I definitely did not come here in my other game. Okay, now we can continue. Let's go this way. Yes? Yes? What is this place? Yes, I have played. Yes, I know sort of the, these places, but I mean. I honestly don't don't remember. Oh, this is okay. This is the house of healing. Okay. Um, what is this? I want to go in here. There's stuff in there. Okay. Can I uh attack, examine, lockpick? Right tool will do the trick. There's a friend in there. noises at all. Okay. Better not be cursed. Where am I? The wanting moon? How 
How do I go through the front door? Oh. I guess I could have come down here. Oh, there's a waypoint. Let me go grab that real quick. Moonrise Towers at last. Yeah. Make no mistake. Okay. We're close. I can feel it. But we're not going to go through Moonrise the absolute. right now. I'm going to go in here first. Its power is strong here. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, who are you? A blighted troubadour? The payday gold in my pouch is clinking. Say hey for the pub. A single thought is what I'm thinking. Say hey for the pub. Oh, how oh, lovely. I've been peeping. What a song. Say hey for the pub. Sorry, I had a message. I need to turn my phone down. Shadow sack. They were all for. Oh, what the hell is that? I did not walk up to it. But okay. So yes, I do have another game that I have played. I have played. <laughs> All of this. Go this guy's disgusting. I have talked to him before. I just want to be transparent because I do story. react. Tell me your story. I do react like like nothing, but it just this game just still catches me by surprise. I love it. What in the ninth hells are you? What are you serving? I already drank some wine earlier, thank you. What in the nine hells are you? Son of Thorn! Son of Sword Coast! He grosses me out. Go on! Kiss! Bottoms up! Go next. This guy looks like he had a long, long, long night. Might be best to keep him happy for now. Of course. Uh, pick up the tank. No, not true. No, let's pick it up. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. Near to bursting. The next few sips could be his last. Go on, three. Last time I dealt with this guy. Last time I drank with this guy, I pretended to drink. He bought everything, like, um, drink with the brewer, sleight of hand, mind the drinking. Which I will do because this will probably, probably kill me. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to pretend to drink. Um, I don't remember all the interactions with this guy, so we are going to do our best. Ugh. Okay. Sleight of hand. Let's mimic. Now, my other character that I do play, um, she is not a bard, and she is not that great with, uh, talking. Um, she is a sorceress. Um, with wild magic, which I don't, I, I don't, um... I don't encourage using wild magic. It's ridiculous. I'm always turning myself into a sheep or a cat. <sighs> okay. Ooh, 18. <gasps> Four! No! Oh, shoot. Roll again. I'm not drinking this stuff. Thank you. 
Let's save before we do our roll. Everybody approves. themselves. I gazed on nature's bounties in a burnet grove of druids. I've seen the goblin's vile rituals in my own eyes. A silver-tongued double bade me to feast in his lavishly appointed banquet hall. I ascended a great tower infused with most powerful of magic. I explored a lost fortress buried deep in the underdark bowels. So this is all my tales. This is all the stuff that I did. Um, let's tell him about Hmm. Huh. Not about the tower. A silver-tongued devil bade me feast in his lavishly appointed banquet hall. Let's let's save just in case he doesn't like that story. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Oh, wait. All right. All right, we got it. this land how did you become what you are father catherine's laughter not joy not ever never only laughter no drink it deep Who placed the curse on this land? Father Catherine created. Father Catherine sustains. Okay. I mean, that's Silence. what Daniel said. Quiet. Hush. <laughs> drink. Uh, saving throw, do as he says. Drink. Sleight of hand. Okay. Save. Sleight of hand. Let's go. <laughs> no! Let's use another roll again. I mean, I know it might be wasteful. Okay. We're good. What did, why are you headed all the way up here? Tell me a foe fell, villains vanquished. 
wish. Beast bastard. Tell me foes felled, villains vanquished, beast bested. I ripped apart winged imp spawn from the fires of Avernus. An owl bear mother lunged at me and slaughtered it in reply. I conquered infamous hobgoblin Jorg Braslin and his minions. I challenge a daunting faced spider. Its corpse is all that remains. A bullet made me its prey, but proved no match for me. What's a bullet? What did I what did I do? A towering creature rose from molten lava. I felt it with great wit. I felt it with great wit and might. I bested an inquisitor, a dreaded champion of the Lich Queen of Black. <gasps> Ooh. Let's do that one. Sixteen. Oh, it's not so bad. I got it. Oh, he loved it! Perfect. Maybe my last one I didn't pick the right one? Ask question, make your query, and drink once more. Oh my god. Um, how do the thorns sustain the shadows? The spirit of the land. Oh, was Let's see, what can you tell me about Catherick? Father. Father is father. Eternal. Invincible. Forever. Except not. Except not. No more questions. Drink! What do you mean? How can I defeat Catherick? Frank. No, must not, cannot, will not mention her. The customer is always right, but also wrong. Okay, let's drink. Save. Ooh. 
So you got a worn key, some monies, um, we'll send this to camp, we'll send this to camp, camp. Because I do not want to be carrying all of this, and we'll take the rest. What is this worn key for, though? Accept my... My please. Is it this? Maybe we don't have to come with now. Yes, it is. There's a heavy chest right here. It's in the wooden barrel. <gasps> oh sausages. Um it's in the camp. I'm not I'm not carrying a all these sausages on my person, but uh, nice. We have some food. Um, no. okay. Lock pick. Perfect. Ooh, what is this? In uh, Ichoris gloves? When the wearer deals acid damage, they also inflict noxious fumes upon the target. What am I wearing? Increase by one additional if you have a bardic inspiration. I have bard stuff on. Let me send this to Asterion. Oh my gosh, she's dancing. She's so stinking cute. Okay. Oop, wrong button. Alright. What is back here? Research notes. Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distiller Thizzable Thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. Okay. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizzable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizzabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizzabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Oh. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Investigate, focus your eyes on the page, mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. Let's go. 14, not too bad. <laughs> it's bad. I want to read the page. <sighs> it's pussy. Okay. That's better. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that. Dagger root. Rustic chest. Look at all this stuff. Um, what is this? The Warning Moon... What? Oh, the Waning Moon delivers are recorded here in the... Care okay, that's just a delivery log. So, we have Serpent Fang Toxin. Um, Elixir Potion. Oh, uh, what? No, guys, come this way. There we go. Disarm. And open. Oh, 
was hoping that key would you would be used for that too, but not a bad lock. We did five. Perfect. Let's have a look. Yes, yes. Grab all of these ingredients. I don't want the rotten stuff. Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. What's that? You know, I thought I had blessings from Char, but apparently perception is not one of them. Which would be pretty useful. What is this? Crystalline lens? Ooh. Kieran hair? Okay, let's just, let's just take everything. I need to find a, um, let's go find the, um, the dropship box with all the ingredients in. Please, uh, clutter the pardon. What? Clutter the pardon. The do mess our pardon. Uh, our master d distiller spills quite the cause. Now settle your mind, chum, and get your shine on. Be will it what? <laughs> what have you got? Nothing for me, thanks. Struggling by the mess. I doubt there's much drink left. Um, what be that one? What are you saying? What have you got? The moon, mountain dark, coming r r right up. A man of proper taste. Um, are you alright? To jump yourself up and whisk the old luggy to chug bug you. So be what? So be what indeed, my friend. <laughs> so be what indeed. Right away, sir. Yes, I wasn't sir. expecting Carlac to uh, respond to him, but okay. All right, let's see what's this way because I have that little marker this way and maybe, just maybe, how do I get out of here? Now we get to loot his riches. Let's see if I can find my way. Where is that, um, <gasps> this? Brewer's Alchemist Stash. Let's go find that. It's like behind the House of Healing. warriors are upon us oh I see them or I see the little red dots okay let's see but my markers right here so let's kind of not aggro them maybe and dig I don't feel like fighting them Um, recorded shipment, read. Um, send you to request it ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm gland. I am eager to send results of your experiments. Please send me some samples when it's complete. I have a few clients who would be interested in toxic fruits of your labor. Ooh. Okay. So, do I, oops, sorry. Do I just make this thing? Like, do I have to go back to the brewer? Or in here? No. <sighs> These people are right here. I really don't feel like fighting them. Let's uh, fast travel back. Um, let's see. 
spell book. Oh, man. So what I found out from that brewer guy is the revealed that her cage is located in Thornmute Mausoleum. It's unclear um, who this woman is, but Kethrick must have caged her for a reason. Okay. So I gotta find somebody. But I'm trying to find... I'm assuming the potion filter craftable only um oil of freezing frost salamander tongue giant clown corpse rose alchemist ingredients combine three of these to gain them in to grind them into salt thespians brewed up belly gumble okay so um combine three of these to brew up that potion. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, where's my alchemist? Book. This. So I need to grind salts of corpse rose. Okay. Where do I grind that up at? Can, can you show me? Do I not have the thing? Oh, here we are. Wait, no. Salts of Carp's Rose. Missing ingredients. Uh, man. Okay. So how do I grind the Corpse Roses? I have the Corpse Roses. Do I not know how to grind them? Because I didn't find them in the wild or something? I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. You can make a potion. Eh. So let's head on over into Moonrise Towers. Let's do that. I mean, it's my only other option. I think. Let's save because, or I don't know. Let's see what happens. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. Mm. What news, true soul? I might ask the same, um, um, little from the field, what's new inside? I might ask the same, why is one of your ranks on guard duty? Thanks for the superiors. Thanks, that's for your superiors to know. I've infiltrated the encampment of the Harpers, protected by the- Okay, I won't say that. Great news, I'm here to take your head. No, um, little from the field, what's news inside? General Kethrick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel was in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Our path leads to Zarel. Let us not keep her waiting. Okay. In her name. Praise the Absolute. So we have made it to Moonrise Towers. Let's go and explore. What is all of this? Okay. Itch to draw my weapon and gut every last one of these cultists. Uh, late so. You're keen. Just. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secrets of the absolute. This level up scared the bejesus out of me. Let me let me take some time. Let me level up my characters and um before anything else happens. Okay, for my bard, I am taking um, the ability improvement. I'm going to boost my charisma and my dexterity. Now 
now for shadow heart my heart of hearts oh boy prepared scout set, 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 uh, uh, uh. also for shadow heart i decided to do ability improvement i mean you can't go wrong with any of that and i decided to do her wisdom and constitution Lazel. What do I have on her already? I already have great ma great weapon master. Is that all I have? I probably did ability improvement on her also before. Let me see. Let me think. Let's see. Savage attacker. When making melee at weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice. Heck yeah. Savage. Wait, Karlak was didn't level up? Oh, poor Karlak. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Alright. That's cool. Let's save that. Let's explore Moonrise Tower. Moving in. And we'll see what happens. Another true soul. The disciple wants to see you through the main doors. Uh oh. Oh! Lord have mercy. Oh, hey, look, there is a, um, shop. Perfect. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Karlak, isn't it? Oh, wow. Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Really? Karlak, who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambion I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, or where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Hmm. If she rears her head, we'll handle her. What does she want with you? <sighs> Nothing would surprise me. Maybe she wants to live up to her name and wrap a cord around my neck. Or maybe she just wants to say hello. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. <laughs> Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Oh. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Uh, what do you want soul coins for? What's a soul coin? I mean, I kind of know what they are, but I never really... I'll explain later. Away from prying ears. But trust me, you'll be into it. Oh. That sounds... Well, let's have the soul coins, then. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck him in my head. <laughs> Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Devil woo-woo. You want the coins or not? <laughs> I don't know why, why that made me... This <laughs> made me giggle so much. Fine, go on with it. First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint destined to be her soulmate struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our mavery poor guy the scud of her soul is yours now thanks i guess we'll put that coin to better use than uh, tiamat would have that's a sad story indeed next coin please this one has got the soul of a man named frakes Freaks. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. 
prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered, made old Freaks grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Oh, we'll put this coin to good use. He'll help us rid the realms of people like Zariel. <laughs> Whatever you need to tell yourself. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. Let me see your wares. Cool, cool. All right, let's let's um the start these starfish. Let's get rid of. Let me do some wheeling and dealing and get out of get out of here. Okay, so he has no actual potions. All right. Better hope you can handle what I've got. Oh, okay. So there's another, um, power. there's another merchant there, this. too. You're one of her blessed, aren't you? Uh, to hear her voice, I cannot imagine. Okay. Oh, Carlac, you want to talk? What you got, ma'am? So, hey, we've so. got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Aren't you afraid this is going to overload your engine? Got a, got a coin slot in your heart or what? Soul coins are just that, though. They contain people's souls. I'm not sure you should be using them. They're already lost. Better to be used in service of the good guys than a devil, don't you think? Next time we're in a nasty battle, drop one my way. You'll enjoy the results. Intriguing. Next time we're in battle, we'll make sure to get to get one. Make sure you get one. Okay. All right. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Okay, okay, okay. So are they in my pocket? <clears throat> Let's type. Let's type, 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 type. Or does Carlac have them? She's got three. Maybe that's the ones that he gave me. Three. Oh, action, not reaction. What's next? Looking ahead. One yeah. mind. I might have some more at camp because I did find some. Never wanted the easy path. Uh, ma'am, what are you doing here? Huh? Ah, a new yeah. face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? New face we've met before at the goblin camp. Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. Careful, that sounds like an accusation. Speak for yourself, I had a pretty good view of the slaughter. I would hard could would hardly call the goblins their innocence. Careful, that sounds like a The guilty here hears blame in every breath. But you're among friends here, true soul. Uh, yes. Look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together. And quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? You will sound concerned for my safety. Drop the act. What are you actually doing here? Um, you were rather quick to find your face. Indeed. Can I see your wares? 
You must sound concerned. More concerned that your business might be bad for my business. So don't go kicking the hive while there's still some honey to be had. Trade. She might have, yeah, she has potions and lotions. <laughs> oh, and the apple. Uh, yes. I don't know how to raise the attitude of these people. Like, what do I have to do to get An them True so. to like me? All right, let's go explore the rest of this place. I'll, I won't go into the main area um, unless I run out of rooms to explore. Acolyte Kimmerl? Don't mind Meg and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Oh, okay. What's out here? Nothing. Okay, I can't go out there. But there is a um a question out here, a question mark. Here we go. Wall. I hate cracked walls because I can never like hit them. Hit them. Piercing resistance. Piercing resistance against this entity. Okay. Um, force damage against this entity is doubled. Ooh. But I don't have that. <laughs> so I kind of figured it out, but now I, I I gotta take a short rest before she can hit it again. That helped. Um, let's see if, I mean, Shadowheart can, like, smash this thing. <laughs> can anybody Attention. else do this? No. It's interesting. Let's short rest oh, again, and then she can smash it again. Or not? Come on. <laughs> Is there an easier way? I mean, I know I, I have examined it, and I know I have force damage. Nobody has force damage. So I'm back at camp, and this is what the camp looks like. This is what the camp... Oh, no. Really? I don't want to talk to you. This is what the camp looks like. In Moonrise Tower. Jeez. I don't want to talk to Gale. What do you want? Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. On behalf of Gale? You're not Gale? Very well, show me the way. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Auto select and go to sleep. Oh, Gail, are you kidding me? We messed around with the weave one time. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. I just wanted to when break a wall. you almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. It's breathtaking, Gal. Is this starry sky you're doing? You seem especially uh This evening, are you all right? Why did you summon me here? I'm afraid all of this is just a fantasy. 
Are you I right? will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. Mm. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. Oh. And with company to match. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I thought yeah. this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is it truly what you want to die for the promise of mistress forgiveness? It's a heavy burden, yes, but but one you're able you're able for. Think of the good your sacrifice will do. You speak as if this affects you alone. How many will die if you unleash this what's inside you? Aren't you not? I refuse to believe this is the end. We'll find another way, I promise. I mean, I don't want him to die, but I, he's not my he's not my favorite. Thank you. But even if we do find another way, perhaps this is the right way. The end fate wishes for me. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Mm. Nothing is inevitable. Not when we face it together. You don't have to die. You sounds sure in your course of action then. You're right, at least this way you might take the absolute down with you. Why are you so sure it's inevitable? What ha ha We haven't even found this heart of the absolute yet. I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. The closer we get, the heavier my own heart becomes. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. I'm not going anywhere, Gail. I'll be by your side, whatever the dawn brings. I'd rather not listen to your wallowing in self-pity. Good night, Gail. Oh my god, all right. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime and prize the fear from my heart. I'm so very glad you came to share this with me. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're... you're very special to me. Mm. And Mistra, because things were different, always coming out your mouth. We were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. Lean in for a kiss. I'm in love with you too. But what about a starian? I don't feel the same way. Oh no. I don't want to give up my romance with the starian. Will this mess it up? hate these choices. Let's save and let's do this. Let's see what happens. I am um, you're a good kisser. You're out of practice. I hope that wasn't a parting kiss. Hope that wasn't a parting kiss. Not if I have any say in the matter. Okay. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do. <gasps> intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave. Okay, show me. How about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. The 
the scene is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. Sculptures, the paintings, the walls livened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself, and as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun take its daily dive into the sea. I know I said I don't like Gale, but I mean, I'm gonna romance whoever wants to be romanced. Why not? My favorite spot. Many times, evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here, lost in words. What's the book? That's your, per that's your perfect? It seems lonely. Up all night reading? I do love that rebellious streak of yours. Oh, allow me to live dangerously while I still can. This one here is called The Art of the Night. It details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. Oh boy. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, Time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body. The exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. They say we take a page from their book. <gasps> Gail, leave it to you to seduce someone with a book. You're remarkably, you're remarkably upfront about your intentions. I like it. I'll remind you, we're newly acquainted, not newlywed. So, well, um, I'll le leave it to you to seduce someone with a book. Then let's set the book aside and be blank slates on blank sheets. Delightfully new. What do you say? I think that sounds delightful, but I don't see a bed. I want to be with the real Gale, the male, the man, not the fantasy. Okay, well. This is a pleasant fantasy, but no one, but no more. Time to return to the real world. Uh, I don't wanna be with, I don't wanna be with the real one. <laughs> I will pursue Asterion, but um, well, well, let's see. The stars will be our bed. The stars will be our bed. Come here. Why confine ourselves to the pleasures of mortal flesh? There's but one stitch in a vast tapestry. Let me show you more. Show me more, show me it all. When you wake, it will be back at our camp, back in our small, dirty, bloody patch of existence. But stay with me now. There are endless worlds out there. Countless ways to declare love. Infinite ways to express it. Too much for one night. Bizarre. But we shall try. Oh. 
Oh boy. I'm a <laughs> What is happening? This is so weird. I don't even know how to edit this. try to do my best. He's got arms! Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh boy. I hear you found a new lover. <gasps> so, will you want to keep yourself your new, true love? Is this the end of our late night trysts? Even though they were an awful lot of fun. I want to be with Gail, I'm sorry. You can care about more than one person. I like to keep seeing you too. Actually, I'd rather be with you. I don't know. Oh, my dear, you're sweet. But we must have standards. Oh. I'm not interested in being in any love triangle that involves... Ugh, Gail. <gasps> Ooh. Thanks for taking this so maturely. Well, that's that then. I hope we still can be friends. If I can only be with one person, I want to be with you. What? Why? I mean, <laughs> obviously I can understand why. We've had a lot of fun together. But I thought you had something more with Gail. Gail freaked me out. Uh, maybe I want something more with you. Is that what I was for you? Fun? Uh, no, I mean, you were a lot of fun, but I didn't expect anything more than that. Oh. Maybe I want something more with you. We... We could try. If that's truly what you want. You'll need to end things with Gale, of course. Make sure it's actually him, by the way. You can never tell with those projections of his. Yeah, I know, right? That was kind of... That was kind of bizarre. Don't worry, I will. Well, darling. In that case, consider yourself well and truly taken. You know, this has been a surprisingly delightful conversation. Let's see what other surprises we have in store for each other. Okay. How Hold much on. further can I go? Okay, I'm gonna have to go talk to him. Hello, my sweet. Um. Let's see what... <laughs> Hi, Gail. Sorry, Gail. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact. About the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. Uh, not just now. There's something else we need to speak about. Oh, go on. I wanted to... To thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world. 
if I should care to look for it. You... You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. To call you a friend. The feeling is mutual. I'm glad to hear it. And I intend to prove myself worthy of the sentiment. Hold on. Hold on a second. You remembered where to find me then. Huh? I know Astarian has a hold on your heart. There we go. No doubt he quickens your pulse far more than I. What's a humble archmage in the face of such rakish charms? Sorry. I'm feeling bitter. Though I think I'm entitled to, given I know exactly what you came here to say. <gasps> we didn't just make love. We bonded. Body and soul. That was bizarre, I got though. Lost in you. And now you've left me stranded, without compass nor map. I was just fooling around with you in truth, passing time. It's how it must be. An icicle through the heart would have been kinder. I think it's best we close off this little chapter of ours and focus on writing the rest of the book. Though, if it's all the same to you. I'll be skipping the romance. Okay. Well, you're the one that came at me. All right, Asarian. Hello, beautiful. Okay. So, we're still in a good place. We're still good. Let's get out of there. I just wanna, I just wanted to crack this the wall open. Here. Oh my goodness. Short oh, rest. That put the wind back in my sails. Keep blade close. I switched out Lizelle, and I might get a Starian. I mean, I kind of feel bad that, um. I don't know. I just need to get him away <laughs> from Gale. But I don't know if he can knock this wall down for me. No, immune to fire. It's very frustrating because I don't know what else to do. So, we are going to come back. Yank. What to do? We are going to come back to this wall because I don't know what else to do if with not it. Over, then through. What is around here? What is that? It's a cat. What's up for discussion? Steel claw? The feline eyes the parasite with a glint in her eye. Intent clear. Okay. Murder. Glorious murder. Oh, I don't have... Hold on. Oh, I'm oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Talk with the animals. Where'd the cat go? What is this? Mind flare. What? Oh, Shadowheart, you're standing on it, ma'am. Meow. Oh, it's. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw. Okay. Furless one. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. Sorry, your name is Steel Claw? Steel Slithering Vermin? They called. They're called Tadpoles. Their name matters not. Merely their demise. Okay. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many and will butcher many more. But this one. This one I toy with. I slice. I tear. And when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards! Wow. Good luck with that hunt. Um, how boring. Surely you can be a little bit more creative. Um, you're a bit... Uh, you know the tadpole is dead, right? Lies. It merely pretends. But I'm a patient hunter. I will wait for it to stir. And then I will strike. Now I must return to my prey. It has been too long since it felt the bite of fear. Ooh, okay. Oh, now Carlac wants those level. 
Alright. What's in here? I'll level her up. No, no, no. Level her up in a bit. Ooh, who are you? She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. Who are we hiding from? Okay. Who's this? Oh. Araj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. Uh, excuse me. I'd like me, to offer you, my services if you're willing. Um, what does a trader in blood exactly do? Why are you interested in my pale friend? <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. What kind of potion is this? And what exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Um, what kind of potion is no this? No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Uh, no. No. What exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Uh, no, not interested. No, thank you. I'm here, should you change your mind. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your vampiric friend. Uh, no. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? Excuse me, he is his own person. How does that... He does what I tell him, if that's what you mean. Yep, all mine. He's his own person. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? A <laughs> Starian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, a Starian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. She's to so dance bizarre. on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Ooh. Uh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? Uh, uh, he said no. There's nothing more to discuss. I am surprised that Serenette thought you jumped at a chance like this. Just bite her. The p potion said no. He said no. The answer is no. How very disappointing. Weirdo ladies. Where's the Starian? Yes, darling. Uh, the reaction failed. Um, where? Okay, I uh, my our relationship is getting there. Damn, it's good to be alive. Carlac loves me. Mm. Um, Shadowheart loves me. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could. Starian's getting there. Still breathing, despite everything. Seems simple enough. Time to press ahead. Ugh. What is that? Oh! Hello. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas? 
get the axe, my darling. Now, how can I help you? Uh, Barnabas? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Gnolls or beasts, plain and simple? I thought the Absolute accepted us all as we are. You've actually stood before the Absolute. Heartwarming. Praise her name. I have. It is one thing to hear her voice. Quite another to feel the power she can grant. Observe. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. What would you like him to do? You decide. How about a dance? Nothing. Keep your... Okay, no. You decide. The prayer, I think. Barnabas struggles with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. And sever her control once and for all. Reinforce her efforts with your own. It seems you're not as commanding as you think. Ooh. Can I sever her control? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Asterion approves. The connection simply snaps. No, Barnabas, darling. No. There's a parasite in that corpse. All trace of restraint is gone. Barnabas has tasted blood, and once more, uh, as Barnabas. the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Persuasion. Easy. I freed you. I'm a friend. Immedi immed blah 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 blah. I'm intimidation. Try it. I dare you. Illithit wisdom. Now, now, Barnabas. Behave. No, no, no. Let's persuade. I'm a friend. I don't know why I said friend like that earlier. Um, voice of the circle. Let's do that. They're friends. They turn to little green dots. Nice. Ooh, she has a mind flare in her body. This is what I'm gonna take. Okay, so we did that. We went this way. And this door. Okay. So this door opens back up to going. the main hallway. So we basically. Heard a room. Some do gooder stopped a horde of absolutists from getting their hands on a load of druids in some grove. Whoever it was, better pray the general doesn't smoke them out. Ah, uh, yeah. Be a bloodbath, so it would. Okie doke. Well, the next thing you do is just to go through the main door. But this episode has been long enough. I felt the need to make it a little longer because... What the hell was that? To stand this close to her power. Anyways, I felt the need to make it a little longer because there was mostly dialogue and not... No fighting. That's fine. 
But thank you, everybody, who has joined me. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.